Hi YouTube, it's me again. Uh, so we are right now covering the second part of differentiation. If you have missed the first video, uh, what the first video covered was uh, what di what differentiation is as a concept. Uh, the differentiation of a constant, and of course we touch on the power rule. So just go, um, this was what we done, what we did. Sorry, um, what's differentiation? The differentiation of a constant as well as the power rule. Okay, so if you missed this part, just uh, go back up, uh, look for the first video, uh, we'll cover this too, a uh, couple of stuff. Alright, so what is the sum rule? Uh, the sum rule, um, basically, it's, it's very easy. When you have an expression, that when, uh, let me get my pen to up, okay. Uh, when you get the ex uh, expression, for example, excuse me, y equals to 2x plus 2, okay? So this is a sum, okay? So the sum rule basically uh, requires you to uh, do the following if, let's say, you are uh, asked to differentiate. Uh, so you differentiate x, oh, sorry, differentiate y with respect to x, okay? So the sum rule says, take, uh, differentiate the first term, okay? Which is 2x, okay? So you can write this, differentiate the first term, okay? And then you add, which is basically the sum, the differential of the second term. Excuse me, the dog that's barking in the background. Okay, so if you differentiate the first term, 2x, okay, you basically get 2. Okay, and you differentiate the second term, you get 0 because 2 is a constant. Now, how do I get 2? Uh, we'll cover it later, so maybe this is uh, this may be a wrong example, bad example uh, to start off with. So let's, let's uh, look at y equals to x plus 1. Alright, so, so we do the same thing, you differentiate y with respect to x, okay. It's the same d dx, differentiate x, plus d dx of 1, okay? And you differentiate x, x to the power of 1 here, you bring the 1 down, okay? So, uh, and then 1 minus 1, 0, okay? x to the power of 0 is 1, okay? So you get 1, and then you differentiate 1, you get, uh, you differentiate a constant, you get 0. So the answer is 1 over here. Okay, so this is basically the sum rule. It applies uh, to simple expressions like that, uh, and it applies to slightly more complicated things uh, to come. So let's look at what's next. The difference rule is basically the opposite of the um, sum rule. Uh, once again, if let's say you have a uh, equation, for example, y equals to x minus three. Okay, so. When you differentiate things, okay, differentiate x term minus differentiate of the constant. So differentiate x, once again you get 1, minus differentiate this, you get 0, okay, you get 1. Okay, at this point some of you might be wondering how do I get 1 from the x, okay. So if you look at y equals to x power of x, okay, this can be written as x power of 1. So when you differentiate y with respect to x, excuse me, okay, first step that we did from the power rule is to bring down the 1, okay, okay, this is the power 1, okay, x, 1 minus 1 equals to 0, okay, so 1 times x to the power of 0. Now, if you do not believe me, you take out your calculators right now, you press any number, you can be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16, 100, and so on, to the power of 0, okay, you, you, you get 1. So it's 1 times 1. Now, this is what we learned in indices. Uh, you should know this, okay? Anything to the power of 0 is 1, so 1 times 1, you get answer is 1. That is how we get we got this answer over here. All right, so this is differential rule, this is difference rule, sorry. Once again, uh, there's a dog. I apologize for the dog. Um, this difference, this difference rule over here. All right, very very easy. Now the product rule. Basically, this is where the, where stuff gets well. Okay, um, a product rule you use when there's a product of something. So for example, three x. Okay, um, what is the product rule? Why is this a product? Because y equals three x equals to three times x okay so this is the product rule okay um how do we do the product rule i think uh this is uh the better of you you can say intuitively you can do dy dx equals to three but how this is the right answer okay but how do we get here uh 
Well, th this is how. And this is how you do it. Okay, you notice once again that um, oh, I lost my pen. Oh, wrong side. Okay, uh, this is how you do it. If you notice that um, y, as I said, equals to three times x, similar to our product rule, so it's similar to our sum rule. All right, if you differentiate y with respect to x, okay, you can differentiate. Uh, first of all, three, okay, times x plus, okay. Uh, 3 times the differential of x. Now, so what we have seen here is, is, is slightly different from what we have um, for our uh, sum rule uh, in, in that what we are doing here is we are differentiating the first term first, okay, the first term which is the 3, okay, multiplied uh, by x, which is where you get you differentiate, you're looking, you're looking over here, you differentiate the first term, okay, you keep the second term, okay, this is uh, the first term, and this is the second term. Okay, you keep the first, you differentiate the first term, okay, you keep the second term, and then you add, uh, you keep the first term, and then you differentiate the second term. Okay, which is over here, differentiate of a constant is 0 times x, times x, okay, plus 3, and the differential x is x, okay, so you get 3. Okay, so this is the basic one, the most basic. So, for example, if let's say we move on to a slightly more challenging example, if y equals to uh, 3x squared, okay? So, basically, this is 3 times x squared, okay? If you differentiate this, okay? So, let's do step by step. First step, first step you differentiate the constant, okay? The first term multiplied by the second term, okay? Plus, you keep uh, the first term, the constant, and you differentiate and you multiply it by uh, the differential of x squared. Okay? Differential of a constant is 0. So, 0 times x squared is 0. Okay? Over here, the differential of x squared okay, is 3. The differential of x squared is... Yes, I can hear you all shouting in the background. 2x. Okay? And therefore, uh, dy dx is 6x. Alright? So, this is the basic product rule. Uh, the product rule can be used for slightly more difficult things, uh, but this is the most basic of all uh, product rules. Make sure you get it, okay? And then, um, let's tell you what, let's try one more example. Um, just in case, for example, um, y equals to x, x plus 2. Now, some of you, uh, the smart Alex among all of you say that if you can expand it to get y equals to x squared plus 2x and then you differentiate it using the sum, uh, sum rule, that's perfectly fine. Um, but let me just try to be clever and, you know, do, do it using the product rule. Just, 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 just give me a chance. All right. So the first term is x. Okay. The first term over here is x. The second term is x plus 2. Okay. So what we're going to do, dy dx. Okay. As always, we differentiate the first, the first term, d dx x, okay, multiplied by, okay, multiplied by x plus 2, plus, okay, you keep x, the first term, multiplied by d dx, okay, x plus 2, okay, the differential x is get 1, 1 times x plus 2, okay, it's x plus 2, okay, you keep x over here, you differentiate x plus 2, x is the only x term here, 2 is a constant, okay, so you differentiate x, you get 1, Okay, and you get x plus 2 plus x, and you get, all to, and you just uh, add it all up, 2x plus 2. Alright, so uh, this is what you get using the product rule. Now, this is the most basic of the product rule. Make sure you get it right, okay, uh, before we get on to something more difficult uh, in the exercises. Alright, so lastly, I think this is the last one. Oh no, this is not the last one. Okay, the chain rule. Uh, the chain rule basically happens uh, when there's a power outside the the uh, the term. So, for example, if let's say you have y equals to x plus two uh, square. Okay, so this is the chain rule. Okay, uh, or some teachers like to call it the outside in or the Western dining method and so on. But that's, those are good ways to remember. So um, let me just bring you through how uh, we we're going to do it. Now, in this case. Uh, we see that y equals to x plus 2 uh, to the power of n, okay? And then uh, let's just, just, let's just call this something, 
okay? Now, if let's say we have uh, y equals to something to the power n, and then you dy d something. So you differentiate y with respect to something, okay? The first step we do is we take the power down, just like our power rule, multiplied by something, okay, to the power of n minus 1. Now, so this is exactly what we're going to do, okay? So the first step when we do uh, the chain rule, okay, is, uh, so let's like say y equals to x plus 2 to the power of 2, the first step we're going to do is to bring down the power, like any of your power rule. Bring down the 2, okay, put the something back there, okay, and then the power minus 1, okay. So, we are not done it yet, we are not done here, okay, because um, there is something that's inside, there's an x value inside that we need to differentiate. In this case, the x here is just x, and you differentiate x, okay, you get 1. Okay, stay with me. Uh, we're just going to go through this. So when you when you open it out, it's 2x plus 2. Okay, one more example, just to make sure that you got it. Okay, so for example, if y equals to 3x squared plus 2 to the power of 4. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We differentiate y with respect to x. The first thing first, bring the power down. Okay. Right, that's something within the brackets. Okay, and power minus 1, you get 3. Now, this is this is simple so far. This is what we did for our power rule just now. Okay, what's difference is that it's inside, there is an x term. So, when we differentiate y to x, we need to differentiate the x term inside the bracket as well. So, some teachers say it's like the, dine, the Western dining method where you work from outside in. Okay, so we work from the outside with the power and then we need to differentiate what's inside here. So, we differentiate this, this term over here, 3x squared, differentiate 3x squared, you get 6x, okay? If let's say you do not know how to get this, please watch uh, the previous video on how to do uh, the power, sorry, not the power rule, the power rule as well as the uh, product rule, okay? So you multiply it out, you get 24x, okay? 4 times 6x, okay? Times 3x squared plus 2 to the power of 3, okay? Now, so far, we have been using uh, positive powers, okay, since we have some time left, let me, let's me let try something different. Uh, uh, let's say we have uh, 16x3 minus 4 to the power of minus 2, okay? So when you differentiate it, okay, first thing, as I said, bring down the power, okay, minus 2. Write out the whole thing inside the bracket. Notice the same. Power, minus 1, so it's minus 3. Now, stop here. We are not done. If you stop here, you will not get the full marks. Okay, I'm thinking of a few students who have done this in the last exam or so. You need to differentiate inside. Okay, so when you differentiate 16x to the power of 3, okay, what do you get? You get 48x squared. Okay, how do I get, how did I get 48x squared? Please review the video before this on the product rule as well as the power rule. Okay, please do that. Uh, and then after that you expand out 2 times negative 2 times 48 is negative 96 x squared okay 16 x cubed minus 4 to the power of minus 3 okay so you can actually express this as a fraction minus 96 square x square over 16 x cubed minus 4 over power 3 now, those of you who have struggling from this step to this step, okay, please revisit your law of indices. All right, right now, this what we have covered. We have covered the um, chain rule, the product rule. Uh, next up in the video, next video we'll do the quotient rule, and then we'll run off uh, our session on differentiation. All right, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.